Hey everyone, how's it going? Yesterday I released a video for NB Minor version 41, their first version of the 100% LHR unlock. And most people have been doing pretty good with it. And at the end of that video, I actually asked, I'm like, I wonder if T-Rex is going to be next on the on Monday. Well, guess what? Today is Monday, the next day. And T-Rex, if you look on your screen, you can see test releases. This is T-Rex version 0.26 test or public beta basically uh this is their 100 percent unlock works good for everything except for the 3080 12 gig and the 3050 supposedly and we are going to do the hive os we're going to if i can pull up the screen for it and we're going to try this on triana pc today because as you can tell once it finally loads up hive os of course has been slow for the last few days because it's been hammered like crazy with people trying to download all this stuff. GeForce 3070 Ti, it's an MSI. We're getting 8112 using NB Miner version 41. So today we're going to try the T-Rex version. So let's go back to our flight sheet. And I should have another one in here previously with just T-Rex. Yes, let's switch over. Wait, hold on. That's not the right one. There we go. That's better. Oh, no, wait, no. Pulsar? No, I'm doing BTM, aren't I? There it is. I knew it was around there somewhere. Okay. First things first, we got to get T-Rex actually running. And, yeah, there we go. Data load error. HiveOS has been having issues. Be a little patient. It's going to have to be. There we go. Now it went through. So, first things first, let's get switched over to T-Rex. And this might take a few minutes because apparently it needs to re-download the T-Rex, and God, yeah, everything on HiveOS is being slow as ever. Basically, we need to have the 2515 installed and running first before we go on to testing the public beta. Good. Now the LHR, we got one share. We are good. So let's switch back on over here. We want to stop the miner. Oh, there we go. It actually canceled out now. So now that we are done playing... Double escape. We're back at the command line. We're going to right click, paste from browser. Paste. Okay. Now, and it missed an M. <laughs> I missed it when I copied it. Hold on. Got to fix this. There we go. Now, I will try to put this comment or this uh, command line down in the video description below. I might have to truncate it or do like a weird space like I did on the other one. So YouTube algorithm doesn't like shorten it down for some odd reason. But let's hit enter. Okay, it's pulling down the beta version. Configuring everything. And that's it. So let's go back to minor. It should have auto restarted, but let's see. It says it's starting. Uh, let's actually do MOTD watch. Oh, yeah, they've already restarted. Uh, let's see here. We are running version 26. Let's get it started up. There we go. 81.42 mega hash at 212 watts. That's about what MB Minder was doing. So let's let this run for five minutes to see what it does. If we go on over here. We can see we are on T Rex version 26. It's running. It's exactly the same stuff for reporting, and these are the exact same clocks that we were using on MB Minor. So, yeah, let's give this five or ten minutes on the runtime here and see if it's relatively stable, if we have to adjust it at all or anything. So, there you go, everyone. Ten minutes, still stable. There was a quick hiccup here. We went down to 77 for some reason, but we are back up at 81.35. The efficiency is right around 390 kilohash a watt. So... Let's see what happens when we drop the core a little bit, see if we can get the efficiency up and not sacrifice too much of the hash rate. So let's switch over here and let's just go, let's go 1500 instead of 1550. Let's drop at 50 megahertz and see if we can save a few watts. Okay, we came up a little bit. We're at 81.4 instead of 81.3. Wattage went down from 208 to 205. So we're just under... 400 kilohashes a watt. Let's drop it another 50 megahertz. Let's go down to 1450 and see what we get with that. 
Yeti, are you looking at my screen right now? I am. Look at this. The hash rate actually went up to 81.6. We're down to 202 watts, and now we're at 404 kilohash by dropping the core. I think um, Panda was running his as, as low as like 950 or something. Give me a second. I'll go and check it up on this video. Okay. Fast. While you check that, I'm going to go drop another 50 megahertz and see what happens. I would. Yeah. What are you doing it on? Um, MSI yeah. 3070 Ti. Okay, so now we're down to 1,400 on the core. We're at 81.7. Still, we l saved literally one watt. That's it. And we are at 405 kill hashes a watt. So let's do a big jump this time since uh, Yeti said Panda was running all the way down to 900. Let's do 950 and just see what happens. That's about the same wattage as what Panda was seeing, 198. What cards was he using? Because this is on the MSI. My EVGA. MSI definitely pulls a lot more power than my EVGA one does. Uh, I think his were EVGA. Okay, because my EVGA uses like 20 watts less. <laughs> oh, there we go. It died. Did not like that. Did not like the 950. Well, we might have to bring it back up a little bit then. Yep. Given so. that it's MSI, would that be... Not on a, you know, not not something we've not seen before with MSI. Possibly, yeah. So let's go 1100. See if she stays stable. Okay, everyone. So it's been 10 minutes since the reboot. Actually, 11 minutes now. We're getting 81.14 mega hash at 410 kilohashes a watt, 199 watts. Uh, if we switch over, yep, we can see this. It runs perfectly fine. And this seems to be the sweet spot for an MSI card. Now, if you have an EVGA or another brand, chances are the power usage will be a little bit less because this MSI does run kind of hot on the wattage, but your mileage will vary. Now, everyone, remember, this is only a beta version. I'm sure MB Miner and T-Rex and whoever else comes out later this week will be refining this more as time goes on, but... If you're watching this video in the future, I'm sure at that point, HiveOS will have this integrated into their um, unit itself. You can just do it right through their upgrade system. So thanks for watching. Comments down below. I will also have that string, uh, the command string for you for the beta down in the video description as well. Thank you, Chump Change, for figuring out the uh, fix for YouTube's truncating of it yesterday with MB miners because that was just annoying everyone. Uh, come say hi at the Misfit Mining Discord. Link for that will also be down in the video description. And I will catch you on the next video.